I'm Angeline Ong and welcome to our special IG series on trading mistakes. We're going to look at blindly buying into a bull market, something that many traders who are new to the game sometimes uh, do. Here to discuss is senior market analyst Axel Rudolph, who's going to be looking at the S&P 500 for us. Axel, what can you show us on this chart? Well, basically, Angeline, I'm uh, showing you the 2000 to 2003 bear market. And uh, with the uh, S&P 500 just having risen by over 20% this year in 2023, we are talking of a new bull market. And the risk is some people might just blindly buy into it. And if you go back to the year 2000 and 2001, you can see uh, that between 2000 and 2003, we had this big bear market. But within the bear market, we had these huge bull market rallies. And we had two of those. You can see here by over 20% each time. So had you bought here just simply saying, oh, it's gone up over 20%, you would have bought within 1.5% of the highs. And then you would have had another 28% decline take us to the lows in 2003. So all I'm saying is, um, before just jumping onto the bandwagon, look at the chart, see whether it looks bullish or whether it could actually be towards the end of its trend, whether you're seeing vol uh, volatility drop off, uh, momentum turn and things like that. So you just need to always bear the chart in mind and not just look at the actual number, the 20% that everybody's talking about. Axel, is there a minimum number of indicators one should look at if you think, wait a minute, I need to check this before making an actual decision? Not really, but there are lots of different things you can look at. I mean, some analysts look at uh, Elliott Wave Theory, even though it's a bit more complicated. And basically, if you see a three-legged uh, corrective move against the main trend, in this case, the bear market trend, then you would expect another five wave to the downside to be made. So in that case, you wouldn't buy into that uh, so-called bull market. But you could look at other things such as if uh, momentum is on the wane and uh, if uh, the indicators are, for example, very overbought, all of that could be an indication of the market perhaps topping out. Or you can look at other things such as contrary indicators. Uh, CNN, for example, has a, a freely available fear and greed index and if the market is, uh, or if, if that index is trading in extreme greed territory, then quite often you do tend to have a significant uh, correction of the previous trend. So if that were to happen, you would then have to look at whether that is just a small correction or whether that's likely to continue, in which case it's probably a continuation of the previous bear market and not a new bull market. But basically, it takes a lot of knowledge and experience. <laughs>